This is KCTV English News. I'm Nick Brontis. The governor says there is no question that the island needs a second airport and that it will have a massive impact on the local economy. Won Hee Jong delivered a message Wednesday to the people of Jeju on the occasion of the foundation of the basic plan for the airport. While speaking from the provincial office, he said the national government had uncovered no damage to area Odom or caves as part of the airport development plan. Those conclusions were based on a re-evaluation of the area after suspicions were raised about environmental damage. The governor also argued that it was crucial for the airport's basic plan to reflect Cheju's needs and priorities. He said it should include support measures for local residents, mid- and long-term investment plans, a facilitation plan for the local economy, and the construction of a connecting road to the new airport. Finally, Juan said he would do everything he could as governor to overcome the controversy and conflict surrounding the proposed airport and get the project back on track. A new study suggests that more than half of the marine debris in the ocean around Jeju is plastic. The Jeju Office of the Korea Federation for Environmental Movements and the Korea Zero Waste Movement Network studied some 1,200 pieces of marine debris from Kim Yong-ni and Sagedi. 59% of it was plastic. Most of the plastic waste was pet bottles or fishing equipment. Following plastic, the next most common types of debris found were glass, wood, and foreign waste. The two organizations urged the provincial government to do something, saying it hasn't researched the issue itself or hired another agency to do so, even though plastic waste is becoming a growing threat to the local seashore. Jeju City plans to transform vacant land into 21 parking lots this year. Ten will be in Aradong, five in Ido Idong, and three in Nohyeongdong. All told, the city will create 335 parking spaces. The city will place the construction orders for the sites this month, with a plan to have the new parking lots up and running by April. Jeju City currently has 500 of these parking lots in vacant areas. They can accommodate about 9,600 cars. In related news, Jeju City is expanding the number of surveillance cameras it uses to crack down on illegal parking and stopping on city streets. Eight cameras will be installed at seven locations, including Woljongni in Gujaup, the bus stop at Hamdok Beach in Jochanup, and the intersection at the Nohyeongdong Post Office. The city plans to finish the installation by June and start using the cameras in August. The city currently has 211 of these cameras set up and running to prevent drivers from illegally stopping or parking their cars. The Jeju Tourism Organization has released its top 10 Jeju attractions for the month of March. The JTO's list includes the Jeju Fire Festival at Sebyeol Odom from the 7th to the 10th, as well as some prime locations to capture pictures of the island's canola flowers. It also includes other sites to enjoy the warming weather in Jeju, like the Nakcheonni Nine Rituals Village and Gumsan Park in Namwonup, which is a warm, temperate forest. Researchers say single-use plastics coupled with insufficient recycling are ruining the planet. Now there's another reason to make sure you separate your plastic waste. It can be turned into fuel. Joseph Kim reports. Plastic waste is piled high. The end-of-life plastic waste comes from homes, stores and farms. The waste is pressed and placed into the machine called a pyrolysis reactor. The machine heats plastics up to 400 degrees Celsius. In the pyrolysis process, the plastic waste is not burned. But instead, plastic is chemically broken down into pyrolysis vapor and carbon black. Once the vapor is condensed, it is used at power plants as fuel. This conversion of plastic waste into petroleum is to deal with the massive amounts of plastic waste generated. The pyrolysis oil is sent to all of the power plants across the island and used to generate new energy. 9,000 liters of pyrolysis oil is generated from 30 tons of plastic waste a day using plastic-to-fuel conversion technology. 
that can fill up 150 fuel tanks of sedans. If inappropriately disposed, plastic waste buried or burned harms the planet. 천연 자원을 최소화해서 우리 재활용 자원을 최대한 사용하는 게 가장 중요한 종량제 봉투 속에 있는 폐비닐, 폐플라스틱을 전부 자원화해서 소중한 우리 에너지원으로. Single-use plastics and people's insufficient recycling habits are ruining the planet. But garbage sorting habits, especially for plastic waste, can give trash new life. Joseph Kim, KCTV. QAD Natural Park's Plum Blossom Festival is not just flowers. Visitors can enjoy traditional games, animal performances, and other attractions. Brighten up your nights at the Jeju Light Art Flash, which is running through March 15th. Enjoy a unique and modern take on the works of Gustav Klimt and Friedensreich Hundertwasser at the new Bunker des Lumières. There's a 60% chance of a little rain later Friday, or maybe a couple of centimeters of snow at higher elevations. For the details, here's your forecast. The low in Jeju City will be 7 and the afternoon high 9 degrees. In Sogipo, temperatures will range from 9 to 12. In Sungsan, the low before lunch will be 7 and the high later on 10 degrees. Similar temperatures are expected across the island in Gosan. And the morning low at higher elevations like Songpanak will be 1 and the afternoon high three degrees. Taking a look at the marine forecast, winds will be out of the northeast and east at 8 to 13 meters per second, and seas will be between 1 and 2.5 and meters. And here's what's in store for us over the next few days. That brings us to the end of today's broadcast. Thank you for tuning in, and I hope you'll join me tomorrow at the same time. We're now on YouTube. Find us by searching for KCTV E-News Jeju. 시청자 여러분, 감사합니다.